All right, y'all, Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction. We are in front of the pool house, and today we are going to be installing some gas lanterns made by Primo. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick peek on what we installed. We went ahead and installed one already because uh, didn't really know what we were gonna get into. So we went ahead and installed one. That way we will have everything figured out and being able to record this one and, and show you what exactly to do. But that's it. We got the copper uh, mounting bracket that we made a while back. And then we had to run gas line and hook it all up. We mounted the bracket and then just slid the lantern back on it and then uh, just hooked it up right there. All right, so we're here in the mechanical room in the basement and these are my shutoffs. I went ahead and shut both of them off, which this is a half inch track pipe. We're using track pipe. That way we don't have any joints at all in the walls. Nothing's hidden. So we've got this joint right here, that connection, and the one at, at the lantern itself. So that way, if something did happen, you can access, you could take the lantern down and access the fitting itself. So here's the other end of the track pipe, which is basically uh, corrugated stainless steel. We will take the sheathing off back here somewhere and then it has a little like a compression fitting with a with a ring on it that uh, adheres to here and then you can kind of does like a flare tool but we'll get this cut off and start with that. So we just took off the sheathing. We'll just take a tubing cutter and cut it right in the middle of uh, the ring there. So we're gonna to to go from a half inch male to a quarter inch flare fitting with a quarter inch copper line that comes out of the bottom of the light fixture or the lantern fixture. A little true blue pipe thread seal it. Here's the uh, lantern by Primo. I heard a piece. Oh, the nuts are off of Huh? The bracket is already off. So like yeah, it the is. No, the nuts are in that bag. So this is the mounting bracket. You know, like that. Slides off and your piece screws go through here. But we're going to have to make a modification. We did not use this mounting bracket. Like that goes on to a metal box. We actually took a piece of aluminum, which we'll show you, and made our own mounting block, block, bracket, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll just use this as basically a nut on the back side of it to hold it nice and firm. So this is what we had it was a stop by the scrap yard or the 
the metal yard and picked up I don't know, I guess that's maybe about a sixteenth, I don't know exactly what gauge it is, but it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick aluminum. And uh, just like I said, we're gonna cut it out, drill some holes, and then mount it right to the wood that we've got behind uh, the light fixture, the blocking. So uh, this is what we ended up with. This is our bracket. But we'll use some GRK, like washer head, uh, lathen headed uh, screws. That way they're nice and flat. But we will take, yeah, so we take it. So there's in there. Like cross. So we're just gonna take that. Basically, well, I'll take that screw out of there. So just take that and then just use that as the nut. But like I said, we'll take that ground screw off of it. And we're gonna put a little zip tape on the back side of it. That way when it sets flat up against the copper, there won't be metal to metal, uh, whatever, connection and contact. Uh, contact. Yeah, that's what we're I just took a four and five eighths inch hole saw and just basically scribed it. I'll take the 10 snips and go around it and cut it out because that is the size hole that is in our mounting block. Well, got the hole into the uh, copper mounting plate that it will slide on here made some J channel I, I can't remember if I've got the video on <laughs> up, yeah. uploaded yet or not if not I will soon and you can watch how how we made the mounting plate and bracket So I have me a few reference lines. I got one center. Took the center here, found my mark there. Measured down to the center of this horizontally. Kind of do a light mark. It's just going to basically be for the mounting of the bracket. So here's just a uh, quarter inch copper tubing. We've got a flaring tool because we're going to use flare fittings for the gas and I have to worry about uh, pipe dope or anything. There's a flare fitting. <laughs> Just tighten her up. It was kind of tight quarters. That's kind of one of the main reasons why I went with this bracket, which I mean, it's gonna be stout as hell anyway, but if I would have put a box in there to mount the uh, the little uh, bracket to, man, it would have been a nightmare trying to get all this gas line in there. So that's kind of what we, we opted to do this morning was just make our own bracket. I'll put it on there and I can kind of just sneak the pipe right out the bottom of it and into the mounting bracket of the lantern. So here's the inexpensive La 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 la. <laughs> Tubing <Two> bender. <laughs> Just 
gonna kind of just drop it down. <laughs> uh, kind of drop it down right there and, and uh, we'll kind of straighten it up and make it a little neater once we get the bracket on there. So here's the mounting bracket. This is the hole that we're going to uh, put the uh, gas line in. <laughs> It'll work out on it. But the uh, light slides right in here and we will bend the gas line and hook it right up. So along with the lantern comes the little burners, the little wind guard, it's a little shut off valve, a couple washers, and a flare feeding that we connect the uh, copper line to. Come on! <laughs> ah, so tight! Alright, that's, that, that's the installation process. We got that done. We'll shut the valves off. Uh, I've got my gas guys here. We had to take the meter off a while back and uh, resize the gas piping. So hopefully we can get that hooked up here in a few days. Uh, we'll get a pressure test on it. And then hope, hope we'll get them fired up and see what these things look like. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see them, to see them going on. So, so we'll get with it. It's a really uh, beautiful ladder. Really. There's some screen in here that like bugs can't get in there. But... All right, y'all, that's it. That's how we installed a couple of gas lanterns. And my guy, Bob, the gas man, he, he came through and he hooked it up. So let's Let's light this dude up. I want, I want to see what it uh, looks like. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Beautiful. Well, we got them fired up and man, they look great. Happy with the way they turned out and everything went in really nice, better than kind of kind of what I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be a little more trouble, but but it with the bracket we made, I think it, I think it worked out really well. So, just keep keep coming back, keep watching and, and we'll just try to keep putting stuff out and uh Thanks for watching.